Hello, right, you all know who I am by now. Next, I'm doing Tiny Rebel, $5 shake, as you can see, right up to the camera. A creamy Citra IPA coming at 4.5% ABV. Now I love the Tiny Rebel story, how they started off in the bedroom, the two uh, blokes. To be honest, I'm probably not their greatest fan. I used to like a couple of them on the um, Perfect Draft and a couple of the birthday ones from not last year, the year before or something. A couple of the sale ones we were okay, shall we say, but the club was okay at first, but uh, they carry out. This one, totally new to me, uh, purchased in Sainsbury's. Uh, part of a pack of different ones. Part of a mixed pack. It wasn't too expensive for them, but um, about £1.50 a can or something. It worked out. All right, tiny rebel glass, you see, as we have plenty of them, different ones. It's the pool. Certainly different. And there we go. Head in the end, so there's your pull. You can see, tiny rebel, five dollar shake. It's got that that IPA aroma to it. I mean, to say, being honest, nice carbonation, though, if I may say. I'm not that into IPAs, as any of you that know me will know. I'm more of a ice beer man. It's, but I'm, I'm all up for trying. Okay, here we go. Kind of creamy, creamy. Fruit hints, what was it supposed to be? Oh yeah, it was creamy, creamy citrus. Yeah, yeah, definitely, you can definitely taste the citrus in this. It's not bad, actually. Do you know, thinking about it, I mean, it's been a while since I tried, but it's kind of like, a little bit like the Cali Al. Cali Pal Al, whatever it was called. It's on the perfect draft. I used to drink that before, but It's definitely got that IPA hoppy smell. But you know what? It's not bad. It's actually probably better, certainly better than my last review one. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually quite drinkable. I mean, yeah, so, what well, I say, like a Cali Al, Cali Pal Al, whatever it was called, I can't remember now. That was more grapefruity, whereas so this is more citrusy. If I'm correct in saying the Cali Al was a bit higher in the volume, but there is, there is similarities. I mean, I might be wrong, as loads of people really into Tiny Rebel probably say you're talking rubbish, but, you know, that's my opinion. That's the whole idea of it. You know, the more I drink of it, the more I think back to Cali. Not my head to head in them, definitely. But yeah, um, yeah they, they certainly turned out a lot worse, if I'm honest, like recently. This is, 
I mean, yeah, 4.5. If you're going on a session, there's certainly worse beers. I can't really, it's got my sunglasses on, you see, and I can't see that well anyway. But yeah, um, overall, I have to say a yes, because it's really better than what I thought. Yeah, definitely. It wouldn't be, I'm, I'm there to say, I'm not into IPAs, but I love trying different things. I've had some difficult ones today, but just not trying to try the same, same old thing so it gets boring for everyone. So I'll try something different. And yeah, I'd have to say it's a yes. Cheers, Tiny Rebel. Like, subscribe, and bonjour.